presentation about converting Blackboard to Moodle courses. Um, and I will show a converter tool we developed at our university to um, fulfill this task. My agenda for this talk is the following. First, I will give a little bit of background information. Uh, then um, I will talk about what the converter does. And it, I will show an example course for this and um, how it works. Uh, I will also show, and there are some uh, special, also very interesting uh, problems uh, we faced. And this ended up in uh, three ways of exporting Blackboard to Moodle courses. And uh, I will show how that will look like. And there are some um, detailed problems also regarding course design and um, well uh, I will cover this and at the end um, I will list up all the tests and questions um, we resulted in converting and um, I will also talk about how we use it um, at uh, our institution. Now for the background information, um, I come from a German university, it's called Ruhr University and it has uh, more than 40,000 students and at our university, which is uh, I guess um, unique in Germany, we um, have a blackboard as a platform since 2000 and we have uh, on Blackboard quite a few courses, around 15 courses, uh, which are not all live courses, but still it's a fair amount uh, of courses. And since 2010, we also run Moodle as a second platform. And uh, Moodle right now has um, around 2000 courses. Now the question could be, why do we run two uh, course, uh, two platforms. Um, the reason for this is, um, well, Moodle is open source. Uh, for Moodle, we don't have to pay any license fees and almost every uh, other university in uh, Germany also runs Moodle. Our neighbor universities, um, which are quite close, they also have Moodle. So we decided to, uh, in 2010, to set it up first as a pilot. And since then, it um, worked quite well. And uh, we cannot see that there are so many differences from the features point of view between Blackboard and Moodle. So um, we want um, people, staff, students at our university to use Moodle instead of Blackboard. So we're um, striving for one platform. And one way to do this, uh, one element on this path is, well, to uh, well have a tool, a magic tool, which converts every Blackboard course into the Moodle course. Um, and um, well, we uh, try to develop uh, a tool like this, um, which is not a perfect tool because due to the uh, um, the course art architecture, the technology as it is, it's not possible to get well. Um, if you convert it from Blackboard to Moodle, you get a course and you have to do nothing at all anymore. But we want to reduce the amount of work if you um, convert the course, um, then that you don't have to do very much anymore. So what uh, gets converted with this tool is all content. That means all documents like PDF, PowerPoint, uh, images, and all that is files, and also text elements. You have also simple text, uh, which you can write in, um, in Blackboard as well as in Moodle, that gets converted. Then link elements and um, questions. All question types are converted except for the question type quiz bowl in Blackboard and the question type calculated formula. Qu 
quiz bowl is used very rarely and calculated formula is too difficult to convert so um, but all the other ones um, are possible to convert and of course there is there are things that get converted and there are things that uh, do not get converted and not converted are user data of any kind and uh, tools like all tools like announcements wikis or blogs um, because this is uh, also these tools are related uh, on the one hand to user data and uh, announcements they ha uh, contain information that is not um, relevant at a later point of time you make an, an announcement and if you set up a new course you make a new announcement so it's not worthwhile to convert this so we all only convert um, static data um, that is now I'm going to show you an example um, uh, how a converted course uh, looks like and I also want to mention from the beginning on what is the main uh, challenge if you convert from Blackboard to Moodle and that's um, the structure. Blackboard is uh, made up of nested folders. It has a um, uh, you can build up a hierarchy and uh, whereas Moodle has a flat structure there you don't have a hierarchy. So if you're not familiar too familiar with Blackboard, what you see here is the um, entry point to a course. Um, it's mainly uh, all courses have um, a menu on the left, that's uh, the blue area and the, you have menu items. Uh, I uh, set up um, some example course and it has here four menu items and um, in the middle now you see there it's well it's all in German but uh, you see announcements um, that's what a cor course can look like and then you if you click on one menu item on the left that is what you see um, while well, you have the content on the right this is for menu item course content too you see for instance um, text um, that is put there you have a link you have a folder you can put in uh, all kinds of elements uh, in here and then if you have a folder um, you can also do this um, you can uh, click on this folder and you could uh, put other elements in this folder um, you have fo and you have a folder too you have files in this folder and in folder two again you can also put other information uh, other files presentation literature and folders um, that sounds a little bit well uh, a little bit of a deep structure and um, but it's not too rare at our university there are courses that use this structure and put a, l a lot of content in their courses now what do you get in Moodle for this that's um, a screenshot of a converted course and um, as I wasn't able to put everything on one slide as it looks like in, in a real model course it, I put um, what is scroll, uh, what you see if you scroll down I put on the right so you start with start and then you get tests announcement course content one and on the right course content two and all the folders um, that is what's actually uh, coming underneath course content one so you get um, a very long uh, slot of contents you have to scroll down a lot if you have uh, all the blackboard content converted to Moodle so what it does here it takes every folder of blackboard and puts it puts it in a single section in Moodle so you can see this here you have the menu items on what you you saw before 
that you had on the left, like course content one, course content two, you have a section, but you also have all the folders as different sections. So at least that, that is the flat hierarchy. You can see at uh, immediately what is in the course, whereas in Blackboard, you have to click into each folder and go deeper and deeper. So uh, that's the first step uh, as a result of uh, the conversion. Before I further enlarge on this uh, process and how we deal with this uh, structure, um, I want to uh, show how you actually convert uh, the course, uh, what you have to do. Um, from Blackboard, you export um, an archive. You, ca you are able to make course archives out of Blackboard courses. Uh, it's called a Blackboard package, and you can choose what you want to have in this package, and how you can put um, all the content in there and the tests and well you have this package which is a zip file and then you go to an url um, that is uh, at, on our server and you pick this zip file and uh, upload it uh, to our server and then the converter does its work it processes um, the zip file and as a an, uh, result, uh, you get uh, the download file. It says here, download export file. You click on this, you get another zip file, which is an, a Moodle archive. And this Moodle archive, you can import into Moodle. Um, if you ever restore the course uh, in Moodle, you know how it works. You go there and uh, restore it, uh, drop it in there, and you run through all the dialogues, restore dialogues, and at the end it says, okay, everything all right, and you get the course. So that's um, uh, a very easy process. So far, we only use this internally, but th about this I will talk at the end. Now I want to talk, um, uh, this is what you uh, see from the outside, and now I want to go a little bit into the technical background, uh, how the converter is set up, uh, with what technology. It's written in PHP, and uh, without any um, external libraries except for the uh, zip uh, library, which um, unzips uh, the Blackboard uh, archives and zips the Moodle archives. That's the only external tool that is used. And um, to give you a little bit uh, an idea um, of what the challenge about uh, from the coding uh, perspective is, I want to go a little bit into detail um, to the export structures of both Blackboard and Moodle. Um, what, uh, what is inside a package that you export from Blackboard? Um, because there is all the information uh, and um, the files that you have to convert. So the most important file there is the main manifest file. Um, it's all X XML. So um, and the manifest uh, file tells you uh, the course structure, and uh, also it gives the list of all the resources. So you read this uh, out at first and you uh, get an idea, um, a, comp a complete idea um, of what's in a Blackboard course. The second thing is that you have, um, you see it, this on the right, you have a whole list of .dat files and uh, these files um, are related to the single resources. That means that each file in the course, each link, each quiz is described in this uh, .dat file. So you have, if you have a lot of resources, you have a lot of those files. That's not a problem, but that's just the structure as it is. 
and you also have a separate folder where you have the real files, the physical files. Um, and uh, well, that's a, a little bit of a special problem. Uh, you have two different types of uh, well folders depending on the Blackboard system you used. Um, but that's um, uh, the main Blackboard structure. The Moodle export structure is, of course, different. Um, you have also a main file, which is Moodle Backup XML. And there mainly are described all the sections and activities. They are all listed there. But you also have a, a separate folder, which is called Activities. And there you have for each sort of activity, you set up um, a separate folder. For example, if you have um, pages uh, in your, or if you generate pages in your Moodle course, you have for a, each page, you have a folder page uh, with an ID and so on. For resources, the same and for labels and for links. So um, there you put all the um, activities. Uh, and in each folder, you have um, an amount of uh, different XML files. The same as with Blackboard, the files are kept in a separate files folder. Um, there are the physical files, and um, but you have you also have for uh, special resources you have also separate uh, XML files. Um, files are all the files are um, described in files.xml. There you have really all the files, regardless where they are used. Um, in Moodle, files can be used not only as a resource. You can have files um, um, uh, with uh, quizzes, for example, or uh, with labels. And um, that is all uh, described there. And you also have, uh, for sections, um, you have also uh, uh, different, even a folder in different and um, XML's uh, section for this, uh, where they are described, and also the questions are separately um, set up in um, questions XML. So that is the structure um, uh, of the, uh, a Moodle course, uh, an archived course, and in the end, you have to um, convert from XML to XML. So that is the task. Now I want to continue um, what I started with about the uh, architecture, um, the structure of the course. Um, at first, we did um, uh, one Blackboard folder um, to one section. And then uh, we um, tested with a lot of different courses. That's OK for a small course, but um, those, um, I don't know, those huge courses, those dinosaurs, um, where you have a lot of um, folders and documents, um, that's not a nice way to uh, convert it this way. So we started to make use of uh, the folder um, element in Moodle, and we um, set up two other ways of exporting. And uh, one way is to put everything in one Moodle folder and in one section. And uh, the third uh, way is to put, um, for each sex section, to put um, in each sex section a Moodle folder. So um, I'm going to show this, uh, how this looks like. The first. Um, uh, other way is uh, one fo one section, one folder. You see it here. There are not so many um, documents and folders in my example, but uh, you get an idea of this. That's the uh, Moodle folder element, and you could. Uh, you can put uh, all the documents and folders in here, and that's the only uh, way to get this hierarchy also in Moodle. Of course, um, that also has an, um, 
a disadvantage uh, to do it like this because um, in the Blackboard folder you don't do not only might not only have files but also other elements and you can cannot put them in the Moodle folder structure. So um, you de you have to decide what you do depending on on your course. Um, And the other way is, well, if you have, you can, you keep up your sections and um, if you have, well, section means also a folder in a Blackboard. Well, for instance, if you have 10 or 15 documents, files in one section, one folder, you can have here um, a folder inside the section where you have all the the documents inside the folder and um, you can collapse it so it reduces uh, uh, altogether the length of the whole course you uh, you have to you don't have to scroll so much and you uh, with this solution you also uh, are able to put other elements in the section like for instance text elements which you see on the first folder, you have a folder, well, it's only one document, but you also have a text element. Um, well, uh, and well, you have to decide um, how you, you convert and it's also necessary then yet you cannot, m mostly you cannot leave it as it is. Um, you, d you have to do some more work and uh, the reason for this uh, I will explain um, uh, um, on the following elements. First, the files. Files is very interesting. It's the most used um, uh, element as well in Blackboard, as well uh, as in Moodle, most courses have files. So, um, and in Blackboard, you have two possibilities to add files to a course. Um, the first one is just plain. You you uh, upload a file. You have the file element. You have the same um, uh, uh, as in uh, Moodle. And uh, in Blackboard you have a second possibility which is you upload an el uh, you use an element it's an element you edit there first text and you can add to this text you can add files and you can add multiple files and um, we saw that um, people to upload files they sometimes use the file element and they use this element and that behaves differently uh, if you want to convert it. The first one is without problems, the second one has some problems. Um, how it looks like you can see uh, on the screenshot um, it says file as element and there it's very small but you can see some text and you can see um, uh, files element there's one document and uh, the second one multiple fi files inside elements you have multiple two documents and some text now how are you going to convert this to Moodle you can convert the files um, but uh, you don't have um, well, uh, the ability uh, to have um, the text information close um, with uh, the file. So we decided to um, convert this um, as a page or a label element. So you see this on the right. Um, you have the PDF file as element and then you have um, a little bit uh, further away, file as element, that is the page, and if you click on it, you get the text. Um, that doesn't look, well, you wouldn't set up, if you uh, make a Moodle course completely new, you wouldn't do it probably like this. Um, you would do it differently. Um, uh, but the problem here is you have quite a lot of text um, 
uh, with the file and if you put uh, every text directly for instance as a label on the page and do the same as it looks like in Blackboard your course even gets well it's um, uh, it gets huge. Um, you have to uh, you have to split it up. You have to make it clickable that you get the content on the next page. So here you can um, you have it as a page. So um, that is not so far. That is not a perfect solution. Um, uh, we have to still work on it to uh, to uh, set it up um, well better so but uh, at uh, the origin you have a problem here uh, from the blackboard structure and the possibilities you have in Moodle which is quite different so that's uh, really a detailed problem but it with a lot of uh, effect so okay and um, uh, I leave this uh, as it is and um, uh, there are other elements that work a little bit where it's a, a similar problem. For instance, if you have um, folders, that's always uh, in Blackboard, you have um, this extra text that you have with the elements. That's a problem. How to deal with this in Moodle? Because sometimes you can, um, well, uh, you cannot always um, put this uh, adequately uh, in the Moodle course. Folders, for instance, can have a description and um, the problem there is where you where do you put then the description in Moodle? You can uh, set it uh, in the section summary or you can put this uh, description um, as a label element. We did it so far as a label um, element. And the same with links. Um, you can also have extra information on links, extra even with files. And um, the link element in Moodle um, has a description, which is not uh, per default displayed. Well, if you display it, um, then you well, I exaggerated here a little bit. I put even two pictures in um, uh, as text uh, to the link and text uh, also. And well, if you do, again, if you display it this on the first page on the Moodle course, then well, it's it's a little bit too much, and you uh, would put it uh, in an extra element. So these are the detailed uh, problems um, uh, that you have, uh, that we still have to face and uh, where it's not easy to find, um, well, a good solution that uh, works. Well, another hard task, um, uh, that's, um, uh, the last one is when you deal with uh, text elements. Um, uh, you can um, edit text uh, at different places in Blackboard with the text editor. There's an example here and you have the same um, uh, in Moodle. And uh, the problem here is uh, when you have embedded media it's really hard to get this out because you have to parse the text for uh, the links, uh, for the file links. You have to identify the links, which is not uh, very easy uh, inside Blackboard and you have to transform it. And um, uh, that was really hard to uh, get this. And right now it only works with images. Um, you could have other um, resources inside the text um, like uh, audio or video um, right now this is this doesn't work um, it only works for images which is uh, of course um, uh, mostly um, used for embedded media so that's uh, already quite good and um, 
the last set uh, which gets converted is the uh, quizzes, the tests, and um, there we have courses that really have um, hundreds of questions and uh, if you had to well set them up manually again in Moodle um, that would be a real pain so um, this is really helpful to have uh, the tests converted and um, it's interesting because well um, if for instance if you have multiple choice um, it's not um, they work quite differently um, in blackboard and in moodle <clears throat> and for instance uh, in blackboard you have um, uh, multiple choice and multiple answer there are two different question types in moodle you have um, only one question type it's multiple choice and you can make out of multiple choice um, both uh, question types uh, in Blackboard. You also have opinion scale that's only um, slightly, uh, that's the same as multiple choice. And um, well, uh, at various uh, points, you have uh, multiple Blackboard question types which go into one Moodle question type, for instance, also true, false, or either or, that's true, false in Moodle. And uh, in Blackboard, you at short answer essay file response, you have three question types, with uh, which are uh, only one uh, question type at the end, uh, essay question type in Moodle. And uh, okay, uh, and then fill in multiple blanks and jumbled sentence. That is only one question type uh, in Moodle. Okay, um, there would be much more to say uh, about each question type uh, in detail, um, the settings and everything, uh, which I am not going to cover here, um, which pose um, extra um, converting coding problems. And um, well, at the end, uh, how we use uh, this uh, converter, um, uh, it's uh, only used by our technical staff so far. If somebody asks uh, for a course to get converted or somebody who wants to, to um, go from Blackboard to Moodle, we offer um, to convert the course um, as a starting point, um, but not everybody uh, always wants to use it. Uh, it really depends on the course. Um, so far, the software is still beta. Um, there are still bugs and there have to be uh, things that uh, have to be optimized. Um, but uh, right now we're we'd like to make it open too, but uh, we're not sh uh, sure yet about um, the time frame. One big uh, challenge is um, quality insurance. Well, um, you if you convert, um, you want to get sure that everything. Um, every file, every resource um, gets converted and that it works. And there is still, well, I don't see um, a solution there how, how you get this um, security. Besides, well, you can go through everything, you can run the test, but there could be always um, uh, some minor um, problems and where everything is not right uh, converted and but that that could be decisive at the end so um, there should be a solution to that too okay then um, I'm at the end of my uh, talk and uh, uh, if you have any questions or remarks um, you're welcome um, to uh, pose them.
Well, thank you. Uh, Uh, well, it was a lot of work. It was also a very hard um, time and um, uh, not easy. Well, and I uh, did not go into detail so much uh, about uh, the programming and the coding, so... Um, well, you well then you could talk. I I suppose endlessly. <laughs> okay, thank you. I was just going to jump in here. Um and you can keep asking questions, sorry. Um, and just say thank you, Catherine, so much. That was that was really interesting. I actually meant not difficult for you, but I actually, I meant difficult for us, for someone seeing how it could be done. Um, oh, okay. uh, because I know that I've sort of been looking at our organization helps people do that and it can be very complicated, but the system you worked out was really interesting, really great. So I'm gonna make sure that, um, the people in our area of Pukanui that they go back and review um, this presentation so it'll make it really um, much easier for them. But thank you so much. Keep asking questions if you'd like to. I'll probably stop the recording in a couple of minutes. Um, but Catherine, thank you so much again for giving us your time. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, yes. Um, uh, it's still running and we're going to keep it running, but um, it's not uh, now sure how long it's going to run. Uh, we're going to, well, we are looking for an end, but that can uh, last, well, that can take some time. Um, uh, I don't know, uh, I can tell uh, uh, again a time frame, but, um, um right now we uh, didn't say well uh, in two years um that's the end uh, it's still running so but uh, we want to convince people uh, now it's our mission to convince people uh, to use moodle and um well to uh, to make a change voluntarily Okay, then if there are no other questions, then thank you for being here. And well, if you want to um, try out uh, a, well, a conversion, then you can write me an email and send me a course. Uh, so thank you.